Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I have been gone. Oh, I haven't uploaded a video in ages, I know, but it's okay. I'm back here on YouTube and everything is commencing as per usual. In today's video, I am going to chat to you guys about an Instagram related app that really helped push my Insta game just to that next level. I came across this app ages ago. It must have been well over a year ago now. Um, and it's like an Instagram planning app, but it's also more than that. Maybe you've already come across the app. I don't know. I don't know. The app has also been created by a couple and they are literally the nicest people on the planet. I've kind of become friends with them um, through just asking them questions about the app and how to use it. So if you're not yet subscribed, please feel more than welcome to and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram, pretty please. I would really appreciate it. My handle is at Hales World and yeah, I do a bunch of beauty videos and also Instagram tips, tricks and stuff like that. So anyway, check me out on Instagram, but let's get into the video. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is download the app. It is available on the Play Store and also the App Store, which is awesome. And the app in question is called Preview. That is what the icon looks like. Um, yeah, just check it out on the app or Play Store, download it, and that is what the icon looks like once it's downloaded. So as you open the app, the first thing you see are just some information snippets, things you can do, how the app works and all that jazz. So once you've read through those, um, just click Done. And now the Instagram planning begins. So to the top right hand corner of the app is a plus icon. And if you click on that, this is where you can basically start adding all the images that you plan on adding to your Instagram feed at a later stage. So once you've imported all your images, you will see this white space at the bottom. And that is basically the space for where your current Instagram images go. In other words, the app allows you to log on to your Instagram. And once you've logged on and connected the app with your Instagram, it'll actually pop up with all the pictures that you've already posted. So what you can now do is plan your future images with what your current Instagram theme looks like. Okay, so we've imported all our pictures, we've connected our Instagram account, now we can actually start planning things out. I'm going to chat through this toolbar at the bottom quickly with you guys. So first up is the delete button and literally it's that simple. You just select the pictures you want to delete, you can select one at a time or multiple ones. Once you've selected them, click on the trash icon and the bam, your pictures are deleted. Next up, you can of course also switch the pictures around. So depending on which picture you want to switch, just select them both and click on that like double arrow icon and the pictures will switch. If you want to get a little bit fancy um, and start editing your pictures or putting on filters, you can also do so within the app. So you select a picture, you click on that middle icon, that circle PC pie thing, that'll take you to the filters and editing section of the app. As you can see here, there are multiple different filters to choose from, but if they're not quite to your liking and you want some more options, you can click on that other circle-y kind of icon thing and you can actually purchase a bunch of other filters that match your theme or style and all that jazz. So once you've got your filters hashed out, then what you can also do is, like I said, edit the picture. So if you click on that icon, you can edit things like the saturation, um, the sharpness, I think, crop the image. Basically, your basic editing things that you do to pictures, you can do all over there. Once you've edited your picture and chosen your desired filter, um, we can now go into the caption section. So again, make sure your image is selected and then click on that speech bubble icon. And here is obviously where you're gonna type in your caption for this image. 
Once you've added your caption, you can then add hashtags. And another thing I really love about this app is it helps you so much with adding hashtags. So if you can't think of a hashtag off the top of your head, they've got a find section, as you can see here. So you just click on that find button, and then they have a bunch of different categories that have hashtags within them that you can use. So for example, in this image, I was actually eating an ice cream. So I went to the category of food, and I just started clicking a bunch of the hashtags that related to my image so I literally didn't have to think of them at all there was a whole bunch here for me to choose from and as you click on the hashtag it gets added to the caption section as you can see and it's got like a little counter as well that counts how many hashtags you've added and how much um, you have left that you can add if you know what I'm saying and say for instance they didn't have a hashtag that you wanted to use you can just add it yourself and then what you can do is actually save the hashtag as a group or a category of your own um, so as you see here, all you do to do that is you click on the plus icon just under groups there and you can save this group of hashtags to whatever you want it to be. So because mine was related to ice cream, I named this hashtag group ice cream. So say for instance you post about a particular brand all the time like GHD, you can create a GHD hashtag. So the next time you go to post a picture about GHD or relating to them, you can literally just click on your GHD group and it adds all the hashtags that you added into that group previously. Then what you can do is schedule, schedule the post. So you simply toggle that switch to um, the right and it asks you when you, want to <laughs> when you want to schedule your post and also what time you want it to schedule. Then of course, when it's finally time for the post to go up, it'll send you a push notification. If you want to see what posts have been scheduled where, you can simply click on that calendar icon on the top left hand corner and then scroll through either the day the week or the month that you want to see where your posts have been scheduled and everything's there for you to see. If you want to edit anything in that moment, you can literally just click on the picture in the calendar and it'll open up this whole caption window again and you can edit anything or you can change the schedule again. And yeah, very, very nifty. Lastly, for the bottom toolbar, say you want to post a picture right now directly from the preview app. All you do is select the image and then you click on that upload button to the bottom right hand side of the toolbar. It'll put the picture directly into the Instagram interface, if you know what I mean. It'll automatically copy your caption and then you can just carry on as you would normally if you were in Instagram and you were about to post. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Okay, so we're coming towards the end of the app now and I wanted to quickly chat to you about analytics because they've got this amazing feature I have never seen anywhere else. But firstly, just quickly, um, you of course get your own analytics where you can see your best performing posts, which videos or photos or carousels got the most likes, the most engagement, all that jazz. And then they've got the pro version, which unfortunately you've got to pay for, but it is a reasonable price, I think. And then you can see the best times for you, like what the best time for you are to post, what your top hashtags are, um, what your top hashtags groups are. And it just opens up a whole bunch of other features if you get the preview pro. I personally don't use it. Um, I don't know, just because I feel like I don't need to, but there is that option available. Okay, then this super interesting feature that I've never seen anywhere else. As you see on the top left hand corner, I'm clicking on this icon. It's the spy icon. And what this basically does is you can search anyone on Instagram whose analytics you want to have a look at, right? So for example, I'm typing in this lady. I follow her on Instagram. She does some amazing makeup videos. And it's interesting to see what of her videos or pictures perform the best because I make quite similar content to her in terms of videos. So then I can actually go onto the spy feature and see, right, what hashtags are working for her videos and then use the same ones or use similar ones. So yeah, it's a very interesting feature. It is or does feel like a massive invasion of privacy, but I suppose you could also always just go onto the Instagram and try and find the most liked picture or the most viewed video. This is just kind of shortcutting it for you, if you know what I mean. So yeah, some people might like this or might not like this feature, but I thought it was very interesting. I think this is especially interesting for brands because um, they select influencers that they work with. They can monitor them, I suppose, and see what posts and stuff are working. So yeah, that is an interesting feature. Feature. Okay, and then this is the very last thing I wanted to show you guys. If you're, say, a social media manager and you've got multiple accounts, you can pre-plan all their accounts, all their captions, just through toggling them at the top here. So yeah, again, unfortunately, you do have to have Preview Pro, but I don't know, I, I feel like it's a worth it feature to pay for. 
I keep saying lastly, but I have to just mention this quickly. Um, definitely go and check out their preview Instagram account. They always have such interesting content. They're always trying to improve their app. They're always trying to improve their experience and help you with your Instagram game, guys. <laughs> so definitely go check them out on Instagram. You will not be sorry. So that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed learning about the preview app. Um, it's pretty amazing, right, guys? I personally love it. Um, if you've already discovered this app and you've been using it for ages, or if you just discovered it now by watching my video, please let me know down in the comment section. I would love to know. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're not yet subscribed, feel more than welcome to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also check me out on Insta. I would so appreciate it. I'm at Hales World and yeah, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye!